I'm Lucy Hines, the Assistant Curator for the Daily Life and Leisure Program at the Royal Alberta Museum. The book Alberta Quilt Makers and Their Quilts is a result of eight years of research. It took the form of collaborating with 38 museums throughout Alberta from as far north as Fort Vermilion to as, as far south as Cardston and everywhere in between. And these museums assisted by hosting documentation events where I would document uh, with the help of local quilters the quilts that were in their collections as well as we had a public event where the community were invited to bring their quilts to be documented. I began by reviewing all of the quilt documentation files. Through this process there were themes that emerged, such as wedding quilts were common to be made, baby quilts, prize winning quilts, just to name a few. And so I realized that the book would include themes, which it does, that there are 12 themes in the book. There were some documentation files that had significant um, information about the quilt maker and stories emerged. Families were able to provide me with archival photos, diaries, letters, unpublished memoirs. And so through this process, I was able to also have 12 stories where we get a little bit more in-depth information about the book. The book represents that research as well as it addresses a gap that exists in the Canadian literature about the history of quilting in uh, Western Canada, but at least this book addresses the history of quilting in Alberta. The book will certainly be of interest to Alberta quilters as they are an extension to the history of quilt makers represented in this book. International quilters, scholars of quilts and material culture, historians, and just anyone in general who enjoys quilts will certainly enjoy this book. A book such as this is not done in isolation. It takes a whole team to come together to, to do it. First, the graphic designer, Rianne Higgs, took a vision that I had for this book and brought it to life. She did a fabulous job in designing this book. Ryan Manick-Chan and Heidi Hoffman were also very hard at work with their creative team to go through all the process of getting this book ready to print. Julia Petrov, who is a curator of Daily Life and Leisure and my colleague, lended her guidance and expertise in the process of writing the book as well as uh, editing the book. And as well, Frams provided their own copy editor, Michelle Ferguson, to uh, edit the book as well. Without Frams, this book would not have been printed. So I'm very grateful for the Friends of the Royal Alberta Museum Society.